and welcome to my next tutorial. Today we're going to be making an Among Us crewmate, but one that has been killed. I know, I'm excited. So let's get started. We're going to start with a capsule. We're going to go to the sh basic shapes library and do a search for a capsule spelled C-A-P-S-U-L-E. Hit enter. And there it is. I have it starred because it's one of my favorites. I'm going to click and drag and there it is. We're going to change the dimensions from 20 and 20 to 27 and 27. And click there, 27. We're also going to change the height to 53. Now we're going to raise this up three millimeters. So this one raises it like this. One, two, three. There, that part's done. Can we change anything in the settings? No, we, we cannot. There, great. Now the next shape we're going to, go, let's get rid of that right there. And the next, next shape we're going to be using is a half sphere. So down here, the red one, let's go ahead and change that to a blue. I believe that's the same color. Okay. Now we're going to change the dimensions from 20 and 20 to 13.5, 13.5. And 20 already is there. We don't have to change that, but we're going to make the height into 36. So 36 there. Now here's what we're going to do with this one. We're going to duplicate this, Control D. And then with the arrow keys, I'm just going to move it over. I'm going to look at this from underneath because it's so much easier. I'm going to click the letter F so I can see it there. And then I'm going to move it over so that they're barely touching. Now you can get it as close as you want, but I'm fine with just this. Okay. Actually, I want it to actually be touching. So let me move it over. I changed the settings, by the way, from one millimeter to 0.1. And then it makes the movement so much smaller. See, Dude, there, that's fine. Doesn't have to be like that, but I want it that way. I'm going to group these two, control G. Very important that you group them because we're going to be using this to center this. And if they're not grouped, they become one. And then, you know, it doesn't work out. So now I'm going to align these two. I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to click the letter L and now they're aligned in this direction. Now I want them to be aligned in this direction. So I'll click on that one. Ah, you see it coming together, right? It's amazing. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get this sphere. I like to maximize the steps for the sphere and I'm going to change it to white. This is going to stay uh, 20 by 20 but we're going to change this to 12. And now I'm going to align. Actually, let's group this over here because we want it to be grouped. We don't want to mess with this right here. This is already good. It's working. So let's align these two. So I'm going to select both of them, click the letter L and now that. Do I want it there? Not really. I'm just going to drag it up. Now, how high am I dragging this? Looks like I'm dragging it about, let's just say 30. Now, I think it sticks out too much. And the reason I want to move it back a little bit is because when the printer is printing, it prints one layer at a time, right? When it gets here, it'll print right there. And then the next one, if it's too far out, it'll start falling down. What I want is for this angle to be higher or um, closer to 45. Right now, it looks like a 20 degree angle, maybe. 30. So I'm just going to click on it and then with the arrow key, move it back until I see this start going upwards. Okay. I'm fine with that. Okay. So I know it's aligned. Whoa. I know it's aligned this way. So I'm good. Uh, now I'm going to group it. Control. I selected both of them. Control G. Okay. Now it didn't turn blue. I don't know why. But I'm going to make sure it stays, oh, it's already there, multicolor. If this changed to blue, you just want to click multicolor and it'll go back to white. All right, so the next thing, it, we want the backpack. So let's go ahead and get a box, as they call it. And we're going to be changing the dimensions here. So before we do, though, we're going to change these first. 17 and 7. And it's going to stay at a height of 20. Now, the only thing we're going to change is the radius. We're going to change that to 5. There, I clicked on the number and I'm going to click five and then return. And there it is, a little backpack. I want this to be aligned, these two here. Click L. There we go. 
Do I want it to be this height? I don't know. Let's try it. Yeah, height's not bad. I'm going to change this to blue. There. Now, here, I'm going to click on it. And then with the arrow key, I'm just going to move it forward. Wow, so slowly. Now, I'm going to look at this from above because I do not want this to be sticking out over here. Let's make that a little bit easier to see. Okay. There. The backpack looks good to me, looking at it from all the way around. I actually don't want that much space. I'm going to move it. Okay, that's fine. If you like the backpack the other way, then keep it the other way. I'm fine with that too. Okay, so we have the basic body down. Now, this is where it gets a little complicated. Let's group everything. Control G. And it's red. Okay, good. So now I'm going to bring in a cube. This is where we cut the dude in half. We're going to make this 50 by 50 and it may have to be bigger than that. I don't remember if that was the correct space. See, I recently did this live in person. I don't remember if I had to make that bigger. So this is going to be 25 height of 25. There it is. Now I'm going to center these two things. I'm going to click the letter. I selected both of them, click the letter L and there we go. Now let's look all the way around. I, I saw some of the students that, that were doing this with me. They had the backpack sticking out and it didn't chop it correctly. So they were very upset and I just had to laugh at them a little bit. Just kidding, I didn't laugh at them out loud. So now I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna select both and then I'm gonna hit Control D. With the Shift button pressed down, I'm just gonna drag this over here. I'm not going to deal with that right now. Now I'm going to group these two right here. Ready? Control G. Good. And for right now, let's make this dude disappear. I'm going to click that. Now let's work with this guy. Okay. Now that we're here. Okay. Let's focus on this one. I'm going to click on the box and I'm going to duplicate Actually, no, let's not duplicate it. It's just, it's an extra step. We don't need it. So I'm going to raise with the black triangle. I'm going to raise this up 25, 25, enter. Now this part right here is where the other one was cut. Part of the head is sticking up or sticking out of the box. So here's what we're going to do. Do not lift it up. We want to make the box larger. So the number really doesn't matter as long as we cover the head. So let's just put 40 and be happy with it. But very important that this part does not move. Okay. And what I mean, the box does not move up. We can move this around. However, we don't want the box to move up. We just want it to get bigger. Okay. We're going to group this. And while it's ready, let me remind you that um, we're done. Let's go on to the next part. This is the lower half of the body, right? So let's bring back the other part. <laughs> my bad. I clicked on the wrong one. Okay. So now mind you, I move this around. So there's not, they're not going to line right now, but they will eventually. Okay. Now we're going to bring in a sphere. Let's maximize the sides and the dimensions. I believe were 20 by 20 already, but we're going to make this a four. All right. That was pretty easy, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in another capsule, capsule, a capsule. For those of you that don't know, it's pronounced capsule. I pronounce it capsule to remind myself how to spell it. I'm going to change this to white and let's change the dimensions. Five by five by five. I really hope that's the dimensions. Let me check again. Oh no, by 10. My bad. Height of 10. Okay. So now this is going to be part of the bone that sticks out of here. So let's go ahead and align these two. Click L and L and we're good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this look like a bone. How do we do that? We're going to click on it, control D and we're going to move this up, I believe seven spots. So there we go. Seven enter. And then we're going to rotate this by the way, it's selected and that right there, you're going to stay right next to those little lines. And you want to make sure it says 45 there. Now I'm going to move it over. Do, 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 do. I'm just using the arrow key in case you're wondering how I'm doing this. All right. Don't like the way it went up. So 
We'll try it again. I'm going to duplicate this one, control D. And did I move it up seven? I think it was seven. I honestly don't remember now that I told you, but I'm going to rotate this 45 in the other direction and then use the arrow key to move it over there. And it, right here, you're just going to look to see if it looks like the letter Y. If it does, then you're good. I honestly want to move this down. So I'm going to select both of these and I'll move it down. Let's say two minus two. Okay. I think that looks better. Everything is aligned. Wow. It moves a lot there. Everything is aligned. By the way, what I did is I clicked the letter F on just the cylinder and it made the, it made it the center of my, of my focal point, which is awesome. So now I'm going to group these two right here. Oh, I almost grouped this part right here. I'm going to group these two. Control G. And then of course you want it to look cool. So now we're going to move this right here up. Anybody remember what number? Can you remember the number? It's going to be 25. Why 25? Because we want it to be on top of the body. Now you cannot use control L here because if you do, it's not going to be centered correctly because this thing is no longer a circle. This is a circle with a backpack in the back. So, whoa, that's a lot of movement there. So aligning, it's not going to work the, the other way. So what you want to do is you just want to look at it and see if you can align it by sight. I'm going to click the letter F so it's better there. Okay, good. That's close enough. I, this thickness is the same as that thickness. It's a little bit thicker here, but I think it's because of the angle of which I'm viewing. Okay, so we're good here. Now, we're going to come back over here. We're going to get a cylinder that is, you know, a hole. Maximize the sides. And then, let's move this up 25. Ready? 25 and 25. Enter. There. Now, this right here was 20, right? You remember that? 20. So, we're going to make this 20.25 by 20.25. Now we're going to align this to this. Oh, did I change? I want to make that multicolor there. Okay, so now I'm going to select this one and then only this. I'm hitting shift and clicking on it. Now this part, pay attention carefully. I'm going to click the letter L. And before I click any of these little circles here, these little black dots, I'm going to click on the, the body. And I click on it once. And now this thing will move over here. There you go. Now I can click on this side. And now I have essentially this part um, centered. Okay. Now, what I want to do now is I want this part to be just above the bone. Right. That's fine right there. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in a sphere or a half sphere. Change it to 20.2. Two five, and same thing here, 20.25. And when it's selected, I'm going to change it to a hole there. Now I'm going to move this. Up. Actually, I'm going to undo that. So this is a size of 14. Let's make it 14 exactly. I know I changed it again. My apologies. So 25 and 14. Can anybody do the math here? So 25 plus 10 is going to be 35 plus 4 is going to be 39. So let's move this up 39. 39. Okay, now I have that selected. I'm going to hold the shift button down and then click here. They're both selected. Mind you, I did not click on the bone or the body. I clicked on the outer area of this shape. Click the letter L, but before I do any of these dots, I, would, I don't want this to move, so I'm going to select it there. Now, this one will move over here, there, and then I'm going to come from this side in the center, there. Perfect. Now, they are selected, so I'm just going to hit Control G. Did it work? Let's see. Nope. I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to hold the Shift button down and then this one, and then Control G. Excellent. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this disappear for a second. So I'm going to click on it and then the little gray light bulb there. I, oh yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to make sure that these were all grouped. Control G. Because if you don't, you're going to have a hard time with this next step. Okay, so it's grouped. We're good. 
we're going to bring back our shape. Now, the last step is to align this with the other part, right? Now, here's the way I check. Okay. I'm just going to, this is point one. So I'm going to use the arrow keys and look, these lines should be straight. If you see the black line, you're good. You're perfect. Okay. Now that's that, that's there. I'm going to click here and make it disappear. But look what we have left over. We have that thing we just made with the cylinder and the box. No, it was a cylinder and a half sphere. And I'm going to group this to control G. Okay. Now we have the empty head and I'm going to move this. Actually, I don't really have to move it. Let me show you what it looks like underneath. I'm going to click the letter. I'm going to click this, then the letter T so you can see what's inside. Okay. Now when you print this, I'm going to move this over here, letter D. This part does not need supports if you did it correctly. This back part though does need supports, not for anything here, but because the backpack is straight across when it's printing, it needs some supports. So that right there is how you make an Among Us crewmate. And thank you. If you want to support this page, go ahead and use the affiliate links in the description. Appreciate it. Have a good day.